Johnny Tractor and the Big Surprise. cock a doo doo It was a bright, chilly morning on Merryweather Farm. I'm ready to roll, Johnny Tractor said to his friend, Ali Gator. Hey, JT, said Ali. Let's have a race to warm up. We have a lot to do today, JT said as they raced past the barn. Would you bring the sack of seeds to the garden while I plough the cornfield? You bet, said Ali. I'll also bring the wood for the new hen house and I'll mow the grass, said JT. Ali zoomed past him and came to a stop in front of the shed. I won the race, she yelled. You're fast, said JT with a smile. Time to get to work now. See you later, alligator. JT pulled the big plough from one end of the cornfield to the other. Hooray, he cheered. I finished the first part of the field. He started the second part. He stopped when he heard Ali shout, JT, I need your help. Ali zoomed over. The sack of seeds is gone, she said. JT looked at Ali's cargo box. He saw a watering can, a shovel and a rake, but no sack of seeds. Will you help me find it? Ali asked. JT still had a lot of work to do, but he smiled at his friends. No problem. I'll always try to help my friends. I'll search the cornfield, JT said. He rode back and forth across the field. He looked behind lumps of dirt and clumps of weeds. But when he reached the end of the field, he said, No seeds here. <laughs> Ali zipped around the farm. Hey, sack of seeds, she called. Come out, come out, wherever you are. She saw her friend Corey Combine near the shed. Have you seen a sack of seeds? Ali asked. No, said Corey. Maybe it fell behind something. I'll bet it's behind this wood pile, Ali said. Yeah. She stacked the wood in her cargo box so Corey could take a look. No seeds here, he said. JT and Ali looked near the barn. Where could that sack be? Ali wondered. She dumped the heavy wood out of her cargo box. Maybe it's behind the mower, JT said. He pulled it aside, but when Ali looked behind the mower, she said, No seeds here. JT and Ali searched the meadow, but the seeds weren't there either. It's in the sky. <laughs> Let's keep looking, Ali said. But we have work to do, JT said. We still have to plough the field, mow the grass and bring the wood for the hen house. No, you don't, called Corey Combine. Your work is already done. It is? asked JT. Who did it? Was it Farmer Merriweather? asked Ali. No, said Corey. Did you do it, Corey? asked JT. No, said Corey, laughing. You two did the work all by yourself. You finished ploughing the dirt when you were looking in the cornfield, Corey said to JT. And Ali, you picked up the wood for the hen house so we could look behind it. And then I brought it to the barn, said Ali. And I mowed the grass while we looked in the meadow, said JT. What a big surprise, JT said. We did all our work while we were searching the farm. And we didn't even know it. Not all our work, Ali said sadly. We didn't find the seeds for the garden. Some birds flew by. They called and honked loudly. Birds like seed, said Corey. Maybe they can help us find the seeds. Let's follow them, said JT. JT and Ali followed the birds to the garden. A sack lay open on the ground. Seeds were scattered everywhere. Birds hopped about. We found the seeds, said Ali. But look, the birds are eating them. Not all of them, JT said. The birds ate some of the seeds, but they dropped a lot of seeds on the ground too. The birds are planting the seeds in the garden, Ali said. 
Now our work is really done, JT said with a smile. The seeds grew and grew until Merryweather Farm had a perfect sunflower garden. We did it, said Ali. JT smiled at the birds with some help from our friends, he said. The end.